If you follow me in this rifle, you might notice there's a couple of modifications to it since its last outing. It's now got an adjustable cheek piece which was completed by Gary at the Ratworks as a personal favour to me. It's not something they do for customers or sell. It's also got a big bolt on it. I've had loads of these over the years for various rifles and they're from Custom Bolts on Facebook. I'm not sponsored by him. I just really like these items so I will put the link in the description if you're interested. I've also got these new shooting sticks. Now I'm not sponsored by them, I'm getting nothing to advertise them but they're really cheap and as you'll see in the next picture they're really strong. This is the fourth time I've used them, all the shots tonight are taken from these and I really like them so they're that cheap I thought I'd share, it might benefit someone out there. I've been testing some new pellets out this morning with varying degrees of success. Um, that's not the important part. The important part is my gun's now zeroed and I want to go shooting but the wife's telling me I've got a lot to do around the house and whatnot. I've got to walk the dog. So I made a wheel of fortune and it's got chores on it. So I'm going to do a best of three and if I win I can go. Oh, that's one to me. Well, it's unanimous. Right then, enough messing about, on to the shooting. I'm sorry if it is a little bit rocky at times, but they're taken from these sticks and they are new to me. That first shot was absolutely perfect, but this one was moving a little bit too much for me. So I've re-racked and uh, I'm waiting to see the head for a second shot. It doesn't give me a head shot, so I just put it through the body to make sure. Again, perfect pellet placement, they're hitting hard, they're hitting full power, but for some reason the rats are just jumping all over tonight. I can't get my head around it. So back up near the green bin and we're looking around found this fella but uh, there's a lot of growth in the way so I'm just tracking him trying to get a uh, decent shot.
and yet again another double top. They're moving around like madness tonight and we'll have to buy some more pellets at this rate. So this next clip's a little bit long winded. I'm tracking this rat that you can see. Um, I go off, have a look around, come back to it. Um, and I do get it, but it's not a double tap, it's a bloody triple tap. I don't know what's going on tonight. All really good, hard pellet hits. They're all perfect placed. Um, I think the farmer's been spraying his crops with steroids or something. These things really aren't ready to meet their makers tonight. I have checked the rifle, and the rifle is shooting just over 11 foot pounds, so it's perfect. Just a very quick one on this one, this one is quite graphic. And even after that perfect shot there, it's still got the energy to jump away. It's uh, surprised me tonight.
So this next one wasn't the best shot placement, but it did die just inside the doorway. But the baby, that's what I can't understand, that little one. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. So the clips that you've just seen come from three different sessions and this is what we got over those three different sessions which I was really happy with and more importantly the landowners are really happy with us as well.